Transfer learning is a powerful technique that allows you to leverage the work of deep learning researchers who have access to large amounts of data and computational resources. This gives you a significant head start on training because the network parameters have already been tuned to extract features for a wide variety of images. However, transfer learning works only if you don't need to modify the early layers of the network. Because information flows forward from layer to layer, if you change the input layer of your network, the downstream architecture and parameters are no longer valid. In this situation, you can't use transfer learning, and instead, you need to train a network from scratch. Pre-trained networks like AlexNet, GoogleyNet, and ResNet expect inputs to be color images of a specific size. If you have grayscale images or color images of a slightly different size, you can always resize your images to match the expected input. But what if your images are a significantly different size? Or your images have more than three channels, like infrared, sonar, or seismic readings? You won't be able to force your input into a size these pre-trained networks expect without throwing away potentially important information. If you have enough training data, the best solution might be to train a network from scratch. The training will take longer, but the process for doing this in MATLAB is fundamentally the same as transfer learning. You need training images with the known classes specified, an array of layers to represent your network architecture, and a variable holding your settings for the training algorithm. Pass these to the train network function, which will return the train network once training is complete. The primary difference to transfer learning is that you need to create the array of layers rather than importing a network as a starting point. MATLAB provides functions for creating the different types of network layers. But the hardest part is, how do you know what layers to use and in what order? In this course, you'll learn the basics of what common CNN layers do, but building an entire network architecture is not easy, even for deep learning researchers. Rather than trying to reinvent the wheel, use common architectures developed by experts over many iterations of trial and error. In this way, your approach can be similar to transfer learning, starting with a pre-existing architecture, but starting from scratch with the weights.